I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Damn it. What's shaking? My name's Cam. Welcome back to another video. If you could live anywhere at all, fictional or otherwise, where would it be? Nah, who the hell are we kidding? I, I know. Yeah, I'd choose to stay here on Earth as well. There is an endless list of fantasy worlds out there, so I thought we'd have some fun with it and I thought I'd tell you the best and the worst fantasy places to call home, according to me. So most of them are from my favourite fantasy books, but I couldn't, I couldn't help myself, I had to throw in a few others as well. Escapism is undeniably the best part of being a reader, but there's also a lot of worlds that look like fun and dare I say groovy on the surface, but in reality, they'd kind of be ass, right? Like they'd blow chunks. Let's be real. Anyway, why don't we jump into it? I'll start with the bad ones, the worlds that I would not want to live in. Come on, come, uh, come along with me. Come along. This one had to be said, right? I mean, it's, it's obvious. Surely you cannot tell me that you would want, you would choose to live in the world of Game of Thrones. I mean, half of the map is just barren and uninhabitable tundra, and the rest is just miserable landscapes filled with bandits that want to like do a whole lot more than just kill you, by the way. Westeros isn't the type of world where you would just get stabbed or decapitated and just die because they want to steal your money or something like that. No, no, it's entirely likely they're going to do a whole lot more than just stab you. Like, they're gonna, like, I mean really, uh, no thank you. Plus, there's like very little, like, magic in this world, and I mean that in like all senses of the word. You're not gonna run into like cute little, like, fantasy creatures, or, or have a drink at the tavern with a traveling mage that does like all this cool magic. You might see a dragon, I, I, I guess, but, uh, if that happens, you're probably about to die a very painful death. And even if you live in one of the very few habitable cities or locations, you're probably still gonna die. Game of Thrones is one of the funnest things to watch from the comfort of my Cheetos covered sofa, but I would not step one foot into this hellhole. Before any of you Brando Sando fans like you know, bend me over your knee and spank me. Unless, just really think about it. I think you know, I think you know that I'm right here. So let's talk specifically about the area that most of the story takes place, or at least most of the story where I'm up to so far. The Shattered Plains, it's just not a fun place. It, it's not even like, it doesn't even look nice, man. There's less greenery than an Egyptian mummy's coochie. It's all just sand and blood. The Shattered Plains just looks like, <laughs> like rural Australia. I guess putting aside the giant nightmare crabs, I do enjoy a good storm, so I can't really put Roshar at the bottom of my list. I love storms and rain so much that I think I would be completely okay with standing outside during a high storm and letting it just power wash the skin off of my bones. <laughs> also, being able to, even just once, be able to summon a shard blade just to see what that feels like, that would be dope as hell, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, Roshar, the, the landscape's just a bit too miserable for me, I guess. It's not really for my taste. I don't really like the desert. I don't see the appeal. And again, you don't get as many of the fun, like delightful, magical or fantasy creatures. Next. Mali, Eldia, Paradise Island, whatever you want to call it, whichever part of the map you're referring to. I don't want to live in any world where something like this exists. That is a man baby. I just know they were in the writer's room and they were like, oh, what's worse than a full grown man's head on a, uh, on, on a baby? Oh, I know, let's make it freakishly big and have it run around like a toddler chasing a Jojo Siwa lookalike. No thank you. So I know that Attack on Titan is like the basic bitch, white bro. <laughs> introductory anime, blah, blah, blah. It's the one anime that even people who don't watch anime have seen, but it's for good reason. It's a really, really good show. It's an incredible show. It's genuinely terrifying. Uh, the first time I saw those titans like break into and overwhelm the city, I felt genuinely shocked and disturbed. I was like, that said, there really doesn't seem to be any upside whatsoever to living in this world. Everyone is depressed, you are constantly terrified that you're about to die any minute. There's no menu log, so that's a hard pass for me, my guy. I can barely run up a flight of stairs. There's just no way I'll be swinging around on those like jetpack things. Knowing me, I would take my first jump and I would splatter myself on the side of a wall. <laughs> 
So let's talk about some of the good fantasy worlds, the places I would want to live in. First and foremost, I do have a uh, confession to make. You've probably noticed that uh, I, I have a bit of a mustache at the moment. I know it's not pretty. The thing is... I'm sorry. Uh... I'm a millennial. Uh... As a millennial, I have to mention the world of Harry Potter, it's quite literally the law. To be honest, I shouldn't- I shouldn't even be telling you that. If they find out that I've been talking about it- Oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. Say what you want about JK and some of her creative choices, but I don't know what to tell you. The wizarding world just seems like a dope place to live. Yeah, sure, nostalgia plays a part, and I'm sure 90% of my depression can be attributed to me not getting a Hogwarts letter on my 11th birthday. But who the hell would not want to fly around on a magic broom, or have a daily all-you-can-eat buffet, or be able to pop down the Hogsmeade and grab a butterbeer? I'm sure they've got spells for getting rid of acid reflux. That would be pretty sick. The funny thing is though, I'm pretty sure even if that world existed, I would probably still be a muggle. Can you imagine finding out that like the wizarding world, the world of Harry Potter is real, but you just happen to be even more <laughs> uh, ordinary than you thought? <laughs> ah! Here's one I bet you weren't expecting, The Land of Ooh from Adventure Time. Like the name of the show suggests, Ooh seems like the kind of place where you could walk out of your front door every morning and find an exciting adventure in pretty much any direction. And most of it, completely harmless. Which is great for like, for cowards. Fun and wacky creatures and people. Incredibly madcap locations including a kingdom made entirely of candy. Since I was a kid, my dream like fantasy house, the, like the number one place I would want to live if I could invent my own like home in any kind of realm, was always going to be an enormous tree house. Uh, preferably in like a tropical jungle or something. So that's also part of me wanting to live in the in the world of ooh, that and Disney's Tarzan. I would hope that if I had happened to live in the world of Ooh, I could have made friends with Finn and Jake and just broed out with them on like a daily basis. Whether it's making bacon pancakes or exploring magic landscapes. Yes, please. Even the villain in this world seems like a cool dude to like chill with every now and then. So I am going to mention a video game fantasy world and it's from the most criminally underrated Final Fantasy game that there is. Number 8. Final Fantasy X was a close second because Blitzball, but I have to give this one to Squall and Co. I won't go too deep into the story because it's a whole long thing and to be honest I'm kind of considering making a video about it because there is a very like deep and emotional story there. I don't know, maybe. The world or Earth, as it's called, is a lot like ours, but also thankfully not. But I want to talk specifically about Balam, that's where the story starts. It's a beachside kind of town or village and it's it's beautiful. It's quite simple and it's standard, but it's gorgeous, but situated near the town is a combat school called Balam Garden. It's called Garden because the high level students or uh, graduates are referred to as seed. I'm sure you can get the metaphor there, the seed are expected to blossom to their full potential and garden is where they grow. You get it. The story of Final Fantasy VIII is one of the most beautiful, emotional, tragic and cathartic uh, experiences I've ever had. And it all starts with an unlikely group of seed that become family. So they start as uh, students and once they achieve the rank of seed, they become an elite um, mercenary that can be hired for very high profile um, missions, usually centering around combat. And it's just so badass, man. It's, it's cool as hell. Some other highlights of Final Fantasy VIII are the weapons, especially gun blades, the high tech city of Esther, Fisherman's Horizon, the ability to ride chocobos around, summoning magical deities called GFs or Guardian Forces, being able to use magic as currency, and the card game Triple Triad. The list honestly goes on and on. I like thinking about uh, what type of seed I would be if I was in the world of Final Fantasy VIII, because they all have like different specialties. The main character Squall, his specialty is gun blades. Then there's Zell, whose specialty is hand-to-hand -hand combat. Irvine is a sharpshooter. There's a whole bunch of different stuff and it's just fun to think about. 
where you would fit into this world. So that'll do it for now, but this is just part one. There's so many fantasy worlds out there and we've only just talked about six of them. I have a very long list of worlds that I would both love and hate to live in and there's one very obvious one that I didn't mention in, in this video uh, on purpose. We'll get to that one in another part, don't worry. If you do want to see part two, or even if you're just a fan of fantasy and horror books, I would love it if you stuck around. But in the meantime, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Which fantasy worlds would you want to live in, or which fantasy worlds would you hate to be thrown into? Thank you so much for watching, especially for watching through the whole video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Please look after yourself, uh, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya.